Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge I had so much fun reading the comments from the last video I'm gonna miss Charlie too. So many of you guys said that Charlie has been your favorite so far And that makes me happy because he was such a good bean. <laughs> we have a lot to do today I want to have a funeral for Charlie We haven't done it for the previous heirs because I didn't know how to have a funeral in the sims But now I do and it's not even with the mod I know, right? I'll show you. Um, we might move Stella out depending on how quickly she can max her career. I also, we also need to make a memorial for Charlie. We have to do it for every, um, every past heir. So we need to figure out what kind of memorial we want to do for him. But yeah, you guys, there's a lot that I want to do. I'm so excited to be filming today. I miss this family. I think about them all the time and I'm just like dying to see what happens with them. So I don't have a Celsius. I've got my favorite Arizona today, the black and white tea. It's definitely my favorite flavor for sure. We were talking about this on my stream yesterday um so i'm curious what your favorite flavor of arizona is let me know in the comments so cheers to you cheers to this video let's get into it all right you guys here we are back in the legacy house i'm so excited to be here i have not made any changes to the lot lately um i just haven't had time but i plan on doing it very very soon the top comment on my last video was that you guys should think or you guys that <laughs> comment on my last video was that I should keep Ren's house the same and honestly like I'm okay with that I'm okay with that and since it's a vampire house you guys are like why does it need to be modern and you're so right it doesn't so I'm gonna leave it alone I might change the inside of it a little bit <clears throat> maybe like I don't know give it a refresh so that Ren maybe would want to come in here more often because it just seems very abandoned at the moment because she's never in here she really only comes in here to use her coffin so I don't know. I might just like completely take out the kitchen and just do like a living room and coffin situation. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. But let's see what everyone's up to. Uh, we've got all the beans here just vibing. Oh my gosh. Yes. We aged up Ophelia. She's so stinking cute, you guys. So freaking cute. Zoe how uh, let's just go down the line shall we since there's so many of us <laughs> stella is feeling imaginative she's watching her little baby um marnie i don't know what she's doing oh no this is R rothio sorry marnie is right right that's marnie okay okay um so she is an anther artist at the moment level seven in her career i would really like to max the career before we move her out just so we can get the points for that and what skills do we want to max for you? Gardening and cooking, I think. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get those done. She lo it looks like she has a talent point, so I'm gonna go ahead and spend it. I'm just gonna freaking do every single thing. Every single thing. <laughs> that should be a point. Finishing the spellcaster tree, that should definitely be a, a legacy point. And then her aspiration. Uh, holy cannoli, she finished her aspiration. She did the fabulously wealthy aspiration. I mean, we almost have $3 million, so I guess that doesn't really surprise me, but like, dang. Mansion Baron, what do we need for that? I think we've already done that with Ren, haven't we? It'd be cool to have it for Stella too. So we just need to purchase 10 more columns. Let me just get that out of the way really quick. <laughs> and then we can delete them. There we go. It's done. She did it. <laughs> I wonder, what if I set, what if I set Zoe's aspiration to Mansion Baron as well? Will she get the, the credit for that too? my god that is honestly so hilarious i think we might have already done it for ren right yeah we did okay well what about leslie so she has the jungle jungle explorer aspiration i'll switch it back after after i do this oh my god that is so hilarious that is so so funny all right and let me change uh, zoe's aspiration back to purveyor of potions right that's what it was uh where is that one at Oh, there it is under nature okay all she wants to do for her aspiration is reach rank five and know 10 different potions we're almost there very good very very good so basically every single t every single adult that we have we can just click mansion baron aspiration and they'll complete it and get some aspiration points it's pretty cool all right back to the refresh <laughs> zoe what are you doing love play the refuge all right fair enough so you're working on your aspiration you have three days left in your term so we're gonna be finishing that today 
And you also have a job now, dance team captain, level four. Some of you guys were saying that we should try and max the fitness career and then do our scientist career. And then some of you guys were like, don't even waste your time. I think I'll just keep her in this job until we finish uni and then we'll see, we'll see what happens. Zoe, what about your skills? Logic, video gaming, cooking, robotics, charisma. I think we might be able to max all of those. Maybe even handiness and rocket science as well, which would be honestly very crazy. Ren, what skill were we working on for you? Writing, that's right, and guitar. Okay, cool, so we'll do that. Her aspiration is a friend of the world. She wants to introduce herself to 10 Sims and then meet someone new in three different locations, achieve level four charisma. Mm, we can even give her the world famous celebrity aspiration at one point. Leslie, my love, we were working on, right, video gaming, which you already maxed, but I'm not gonna move you out because I need to move you out with Stella. And then Marnie, you're just vibing, honestly. All the kids are just vibing. I always feel their needs in the beginning of each episode because I just wanna start with a nice clean slate. <laughs> so that's why all their needs are so high. Okay, so I think we're going to start the episode with the funeral. So I'm gonna put Charlie's gravestone in Ren's inventory. And then, cause you need a sim that has high charisma skill. I think it might be level seven and you need the urn or their their gravestone in their inventory i'm gonna go into cast two or should we should we go into cast should we give them black outfits or is that just like a very old school tradition i think i'll do it i'll just give them something uh like formal a little bit like respectable you know uh, oh ren can totally wear that or is it is it too much? Is it too much? I don't know. I could just give her this. It's gonna take a minute because I have to like enter create a sim through MC Command Center because I have too many sims in the household. I am just having one of those days. Like I woke up, I did my makeup, I put this on and I was like, okay, that's enough. I'm still wearing the shirt that I slept in. <laughs> I just did not feel like getting dressed today. I'm just tired. Oh no. Ooh, bop. Fashion. Fashion. Turn it to the left. Fashion. Turn it to the right. Ooh, fashion. I just watched Clueless. All right, Leslie, let's see what we can give you. That's pretty. Pretty much everything comes in black, so it's pretty handy. <laughs> That's pretty. All right, guys, I'm finally done. <laughs> I'm finally done with giving everyone their outfits. So I also placed like a church lot type thing. It's 8 a.m. on a Saturday, which I think is pretty a pretty perfect time. So we are all going to travel to Windenburg. I placed it where the, the estate used to be. It's a funeral home and graveyard. It was one of the most popular ones on the gallery. I've never done this before, so I'm very curious to see how this is gonna go down. <laughs> I learned about it months ago, but I've never tried it. So I'm excited to like try it with you guys here on camera today. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead, bring Zoe here, and then I'm gonna need uh, Ren to like, I guess we can just summon them. We can summon them, right? Yeah, let's just summon the rest of the family. We haven't seen Lilith in such a long time. Okay, I think that's everybody. Let me get everyone in their outfits that I chose for them. So I'm gonna get everyone to, ooh, what's this? Toss a coin, no, no, no. So this is the uh, this is the lot that I placed from the gallery. It has like a graveyard outside and then in we go. It's quite nice, actually. I think this is a great a great lot for it because you got this out, out front. It just looks very official, doesn't it? <laughs> so we just have a little foyer area and then in we go. We have, oh shoot, we need a podium. You need a podium as well. Um, yeah, it's just, it's very basic, but like it'll do the job, you know? It will do the job. Is this the bathroom? Yeah, okay. This is perfect, actually. Perfect size. Almost have everything we need. <laughs> we just need that podium. And I don't know whose urn this is, but I think I'm gonna delete it so we can put Charlie's urn up there. Oh no, wait, we need the urn in the inventory. That's right. You know what would also be better in that spot as well? Like a coffin. 
Um, just for pr pretend. Yeah, so there we go. And then we need a podium. I don't know if the podiums are base game. It might be city living, so I apologize. Uh, so there's one from city living and one from university. Shoot, so you need either one of those packs in order to participate. All right, well, let's see if uh, this works. I'm just going to just hang out, see how many people show up. Oh, Kieran, hello. Oh God, what the heck? Sheesh. Not really sure what causes that. So Ren has the gravestone in her inventory. Uh, oh, oh, so you click on the gravestone and not the podium. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna get her to give eulogy uh, and see, see how this goes. <gasps> Luna's here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, this is, um, Kingston's kid. He showed up. That's so great. He has no funeral-worthy outfits. Maybe this one? Luna, let's get you in your nice outfit as well. Hi, Lilith. Good to see you as well. Hi, Greg. <laughs> the gang's all here, you guys. The gang's all here. All right, Ren, come on. Let's give this eulogy, please. Oh, really? Really, Marnie? Now is not the time. Now is not the time to be doing this. Firm. Express disappointment for making a mess at her father's funeral. Oh, okay, there she goes, there she goes, she's going. Kieran, can you get out of the way? Why does she seem happy doing this? I thought it was supposed to be like a sad thing. Oh, she's cleaning up her mess. Good, good, good. Ren's speech didn't inspire anyone. It wasn't meant to. Okay, everyone's sitting down now, at least I hope. What in the world is happening right now? Is that really it? What is Stella's charisma? Three. Yikes, I don't think that's high enough. Yeah, she can't give a eulogy. What about Zoe? Seven, maybe she, maybe we can try her. <gasps> oh my God, Luna! Do you not know how to deal with grief right now? Why are you streaking at your father's funeral? Holy cannoli. This family, they can't ever do anything seriously. I guess Charlie would have wanted this to be a, a fun. Oh my God, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> No, that sim just got in the coffin. Oh, no, this, this is, oh my God. This is so realism shattering. I'm so sorry, you guys. I expected this to be like some sad, you know, event, but everyone's just being silly. I don't know. Maybe they're just having a good time and they're just happy to see each other. I don't know. Either way, I am appalled. At least they're all vibing, having a good time, talking. What's Ren doing? Oh god, sad bomb, morning. Whose grave is this? Do you even know this person? Oh crap, you have an audition in an hour? You should probably have a moodlet solver or something. Yeah, let's get you a moodlet solver because I can't have you be going to your audition all depressed. Oh, and let's also get her the quirk be gone because I'm tired of her having that emotional, those emotional breakdowns. Even though like she's been through a lot and it's kind of understandable. <laughs> it's good to see her and Lilith together again. Leslie, what, what happened to your face, man? Who did your makeup for you? All right, everybody. Well. Ren, drink that moodlet solver. Go to your audition. Are you going? Emotional meltdown? No! Right before your audition? Ay, ay, ay. And now Rothio is making a mess as well. Go, go, Ren, go. Okay, all right, let's go home. This was an actual disaster, and I'm so sorry. Uh, zero out of 10, do not recommend giving eulogies in The Sims. Give eulogy my butt. It was just some horrible speech. I was so excited for this too. I don't know why, it was just something different to do in The Sims. <laughs> okay, so main thing that we're going to focus on now is getting Stella to level 10 in her career. And oh my god, Ren failed her audition. What? What the heck? I'm gonna get her to do this last town in the West. Stella, I'm gonna, oh, you can go to work? Oh, 
Okay, let's go to work. I'm also going to grab her the... Um, she has so many aspiration points. It's kind of crazy. I'm going to get her the... What's that one where you get promoted more often? Or you're more likely to get promoted? Um, entrepreneurial. Okay, let's grab that for you. And... Uh, savant. Gain all skills much faster. That's always a handy one to have. I think that's good enough. Aw, Lamar's inviting us on a date today. Oh, it's a rabbit hole date. Um, let's go see a movie. No problem. No problem. All right. So Zoe, how is everything going with school? It looks like you're doing homework right now. You have, let's see, three days left, which means Monday is going to be your final exam. Uh, you already did your term paper and you don't have a presentation this semester, which is nice. So yeah, you're vibing. All you have to do is finish that homework that you're doing now, take your final exam on Monday and boom, you're done. And boom, we can get you your scientist career. I'm pretty pumped. So Stella, we have to work on your flower arranging skill. Why are there so many ghosts outside? Let's get you to come out here, make an arrangement. Let's do a crocus one. Honestly, I wish you could just click make random arrangement because I don't like choosing. <laughs> I don't like choosing every single time. I also want to work on maxing your gardening skill, which you're almost there. What do you want to do for your aspiration? Play on jungle gym while playful. You're focused though. Why don't you have any homework in your inventory? What's happening there? All right, Stella is working on her flower arrangement skill. Ren, I need you to work on your writing skill. Let's just get you to max that. And then we'll work on the guitar. Hmm, resume writing the Venusian Chronicles. Yeah, sounds great. What did you just sprinkle on that flower arrangement, ma'am? Oh, I forgot to look at the calendar as well. Whose birthday is it today? Oh, it's Leslie's birthday. Okay, and then tomorrow is Bailey, Bellamy, and Stella's birthday. Holy cannoli. Stella's gonna be an elder. Oh no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. And then after that, it's Rothio's birthday. Alrighty. Wow, we have a lot of birthdays coming up. Okay, very excited to see Rothio in her child form though. And Bailey and Bellamy's child form. Oh my goodness, holy crap. Let's go. Oh, nice, Ren. Good job. You maxed that writing skill. Okay, so let me get you to go ahead and practice your guitar. I think maybe a comedy routine for Charlie would be uh, fitting. What do you guys think about that? For his memorial? Yay! Stella Max the gardening skill as well. Holy cannoli, we are getting stuff done, you guys. We are getting stuff done. It looks like Stella is the only one that needs to like do some mourning. So I'm gonna get uh who has Charlie's gravestone again? Was it Zoe? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get her to come out here and just mourn Charlie a little bit for Founder Day. Leslie hasn't done it either, so I'm gonna get her to come out here and mourn. A lot of these babies haven't, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to get them to come out here, even though it's gonna make them sad. Zoe, I'm so freaking excited for you to... Oh, what stinks? Is there food in here that's bad? Okay, I'm so excited for her to... um to graduate. Who's this? Oh, hi, Charles. Hello, Charles. Talk about overcoming securities. I'm going to turn this off. There's so much French toast everywhere. How are the toddler's skills coming along? Oh, yes. Potty training. We have a potty, right? Oh, yeah. The potty. The potties are over here in the guest house. She's almost maxed her movement, her imagination, and her thinking, which is amazing. Wow, Ren. That's beautiful. I'm gonna get Ren to compose a long comedy routine for Charlie. Everyone had a successful founder day as well, which is fantastic. What are you doing? Play dolls? No! Let's keep working on that, uh, that flower arrangement skill, yeah? And we need to pick a new aspiration for you as well. Hmm. What shall we do? Okay, I gave her the purveyor of potions one, I think, because all that all she has to do is brew five potions and know 10 different potions. How many potions does she know? She doesn't know 10 yet? Crap! Shoot! 
Leslie, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh my God, I totally forgot. Oh my God, time flew too fast. I was too focused on founder day. Darn it. Oh, poor baby. Poor baby Leslie. I'm so sorry. All right, well, let's figure out what her last trait's gonna be. All right, here we go. Last trait is clumsy. Okay, that's so cute. She's a good geek who's a little bit clumsy. I love that for her. She's gonna be stumbling around Selva Dorada. <laughs> cute. All right. Leslie, I am so sorry. It doesn't look... Oh, she does have a sad mood. She has a couple. A friend has passed. Awful holiday. And forgotten birthday. Oh, God. I feel so terrible. I'm so sorry, babes. I'm so sorry. I still love you so much. Aww. Rothio is not having it. She's like, I want food. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Look, two of them are doing flashcards. I love it. Okay, Rotheo, how are your skills? Because you're the next one that's going to be aging up, right? Today is Sunday. Bailey and Bellamy and Stella. <gasps> oh God. Should we have a party? Because that's a lot of birthdays. So, uh, Bailey, I want you to max your, uh, your communication. So why don't you and Bellamy just have like a bunch of chats together so you both can max it. I'm going to miss these two beans as a toddler so, as toddlers so much. They are just so cute. Oh, you know what guys? I downloaded the, um, the family photo mod. So I can try doing that in this episode too. I can't, there's just like so much going on. I want to take pictures of every single one of the kids. I want to take a family photo, like all before they age up. I'm stressed. I'm so stressed. Where is the, where is the tripod and camera? Okay, so I'll wait until the sun comes out and then I'll have Ren take little uh, photos of the toddlers. Whoa, $141,000 for investing this week. Sheesh, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And it's officially summer. Oh, Leslie likes alternative music. How cute. I love that for her. All right, Stella. Uh, yes, absolutely go to work. Okay, I'm gonna get Ren to take pictures of Bailey and Bellamy. Let me get Bellamy out of his little onesie here. Oh no, I have been getting bullied at school and I was afraid they would be more mean if I told the teacher, so I didn't. Is there anything you can do? <gasps> I'll talk to the principal. You poor bean. <gasps> oh, how cute are they? Okay, Stella, have a good day at work. All right, Ren, take the photo. Take it. Oh my God, they both synchronized fart farted right now. Holy cannoli. Ren, come on. All right. Uh, for some reason, it wouldn't like take picture of, I can only just take picture like, oh, okay, now you're gonna do it. Are you gonna do it now? What's that, Patchy? Oh my God. This game is really pissing me off today. Like, I'm just not, it's just not going well for some reason. Uh, whatever, I got photos of them, that's all that matters. Oh yes, Zoe, enjoy your, your shift. Make sure to work hard, you're already doing that, fantastic. Uh-oh, Ophelia is in a picky eater phase. Oh no. Leslie, what's your cooking skill at? Three, almost four. You know what? Why don't you bake the cakes for today? Let's do a hamburger cake for Bailey and Bellamy. And then for Stella, we can like do the matcha green tea cake or we can do like the low carb coconut one. Right, can we plan an event for today? Oh, we can. Okay, let's do that. Yay, Stella got promoted. Nice girl. Very, very nice. Mm, you guys, Caden passed. Oh no, Kieran's dad. That's so sad. So wait, Kieran is probably, oh no, he's probably still living with the, his, um, his stepmom. Looks like Kyla's husband also passed away, Alvin. I'm not sure if Kyla's still alive. Her photo won't load. That's okay. We will do a caterer, yes. We will do a mixologist, yes. An entertainer, I mean, okay. Yeah, sure. Zoe needs a new challenge at work. How does she ask the boss? Present suggestions, never demand anything from your boss. What the heck? That's such a bad idea. <laughs> All right, did you make that cake? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. 
Let's add candles to it and then make another one. Uh, what kind of cake would Stella want? Ooh, a honey cake would be delicious. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the matcha cake. I love that freaking recipe. I love that it's in this game. Looks like Stella's doing some flashcards with babes in the garden. This is so cute. Why in the garden? Ugh, either way, that's like the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed. Woo! Yeah, girl, get that cooking skill up. Let's get them cakes going. Beautiful. Looks great. Looks so great. She's like, I don't want anyone to have their birthday forgotten like they forgot mine. So I'm gonna make sure that the cakes are made and that they're perfect and beautiful. What a sweet bean. Who blew up the toilet up here? My goodness. It would be really cool if we could celebrate the birthdays up here. Yeah, Bruce, you're more than welcome to come over. Ren has an audition in an hour. Okay, make sure you go to that. I'm gonna buy some balloons and put them up here. And I'm also gonna put the cakes up here too. Um, yeah, that would be fun. I will not lie, the toddler stuff pack came with some of the things that I use the most, like this pillow thing, these balloons. I don't know, there's just a bunch of stuff that I always, always use. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of these islands over here. Oh shoot, they're floating islands. Dang it, no, I don't want floating islands. But maybe I should just put a dining table so that we can put the cakes on them. Okay, that looks really cute. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what it looks like with the cake on it. Birthday party starts in an hour. Here we go, here we go. One hour. Let me grab the cakeies. Boom. What? What? How is that even possible? Oh my gosh, I am so angry right now. How was that even possible? I thought that birthday candles meant you couldn't take a slice. This game is causing me so many freaking issues today. Yes, let's start. Even though the cake's not ready, it's fine. Just gonna throw this one away. What a nice summer day for a lovely birthday party, am I right, you guys? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, uh, I think we need to get one more thing up here and that's a microphone because we did hire an entertainer and I'm pretty sure that they can do comedy. Yeah, let's grab this microphone stand. Okay, there's a toilet up here. There's a bar up here for the mixologist to come. The only issue that I can find is that the toddlers can't come up here, but I can just teleport them and then they'll be stuck. Hee hee hee. I think we need music up here as well. I don't think I put a, a speaker. This one blends in so nicely with the wallpaper. It's perfect. When does Zoe get back from work? When does her shift end? 9 p.m. Sheesh. I think I'm gonna have to do another mod slash CC clean out because <laughs> my game is just bugged. Who's this? Oh my gosh, this is William. He's already a child. Holy cannoli. I'm gonna have to give these kids uh, makeovers. Hi, look at you. You have purple eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, who do we got over here? Oh God, Lamar's naked. Why are you always turn up naked? We got Greg, we got Felix and Colby. Oh, Colby. Oh my God, Felix looks so pumped to be here right now. <laughs> but I really, oh, sorry. I really wanna see you, my bean. What's the matter? What's wrong? Aw, you poor babe. Uh, we got Kay who brought some clay. Okay. Wow, I just rhymed three times unintentionally. Holy cannoli. Yes, welcome everybody up to the rooftop. Rooftop we go. Oh my God. The birthday mixologist, her eyes! Help! Okay, it seems as if the gang is all here. Um, there's just a lot going on. Oh no, Kyla did pass. Okay, go here together. I tried to add everyone I could uh, to the group. Oh my God, not this being our entertainer. She does not look sure of herself at all. Come on, everyone come up here. Toddlers, let's go. My game is virtually unplayable. 
This is terrible. I don't even know what to do at this point. We have a terrible entertainer. At least the bartender's doing your job. This is a disaster. This is so hard. There are too many sims on the lot. <laughs> and everyone is just freaking out. I don't know. Nothing's running smoothly today. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's probably not that entertaining because I'm just like troubleshooting everything every two seconds. But it's nice to see everyone hanging out. I do love to see it. Our entertainer. Horrible. Stella is not feeling it. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna just get her to come over here and make a wish before we run out of time. Oh shoot, no, not you, Zoe. Uh, Stella, ay ay ay, I almost just really messed that up. Well, hopefully people come over here and celebrate you. Anyone? Well, they're celebrating from afar. Happy birthday! I can't believe you're gonna be an elder. Thanks, Kyla. Oh man, seniority. We're gonna have to give her her elder makeover. Oh, baby Stella. All right, now I need you to help your little toddlers. Okay, we might have to do the toddlers um, in the kitchen because... I tried to teleport the kids onto the roof and it was just glitching so very badly. So um, I'm just gonna do it down here. I wish I could watch what everyone's doing, but I don't, I can't. I can't keep tabs on everyone. <laughs> it's too hard. Felix is just going around looking at all of our stuff and saying, I don't like that. I don't like that. Happy birthday, Bellamy, my little baby. Oh, oh, okay. What is that going on out there? Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. We are about to see what Child Bellamy is all about. Here we go. Rambunctious Scamp who loves outdoors. What? Why is that so perfect? Those two go so great together. Okay. Rambunctious Scamp who loves the outdoors. Okay. Nice. All right. Now, wait, stop right there. Stop, stop, stop. I need you to add more candles, and then I need you to help Bailey. Even though no one's really celebrating or doing much, it's good to see everyone. Where's Bailey at? What's he doing? Nah, I need you to get aged up, my boy. That's what Ren wore to our audition. Did you pass it? You did! What a good girl. Fantastic. Okay. All right, here we go. It's Bailey's time. Happy birthday, Bailey. Oh no, she's sick. Okay, we'll give you medicine. Oh my god, there's so many children around. Holy cannoli. All right, Bailey. I think we could just generate another child and it'll do it again. Okay. Oh god, why am I saying this? This is always so nerve wracking. Whiz kid and perfectionist? Hold on, that's a new trait. Oh, that's kind of exciting. A perfectionist who's super smart. Oh my God, they're like little, little opposites. <gasps> I'm so excited. Cool. Um, Who has the medicine, by the way? Poor uh, Ophelia needs it. Here's one. Do you have a job, Bruce? Huh. For some reason, I can't tell. This is May. This is Kyla's daughter. She's so pretty. I really want to give her a makeover too. What's happening over here? Oh my god, so many sims that need makeovers! <laughs> you know what? Since my game is acting so bleh, maybe we can just... Bruce is unemployed, okay. Maybe we can just use the rest of this episode to give makeovers and uh, like give Bruce his job and all that kind of stuff because this is just crazy. I'm gonna end the party. Yes, goodbye everyone. It was great seeing you. We'll see you next time. All right, so first and foremost, I'm gonna give Stella her elder makeover. I don't think I'm gonna change that much about her. I just kind of want to like maybe lighten her hair a little bit more, give her wrinkles, maybe give her like <laughs> some um, elderly looking outfits too. Aw, look at this hair. It's a little bit longer than the one she had before. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, my heart's already breaking. All right, 
so she definitely looks like she's aged um i like the white hair i think it looks good okay so i'm gonna give her this from for one of her outfits since she's always in the garden i do love this top i think i'm just gonna change the pants on this one to something a little bit more um a little more relaxed i guess those are pretty cute looks comfy Okay, guys, here is Stella's elder makeover. I hope that you like it. I do. She looks like the cutest and sweetest little grandma ever, even though she's like a mom. <laughs> she still has a bunch of toddlers, which kind of blows my mind. I'm like dreading going through all of my CC. <sighs> but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Also, I do think that once the household is a little bit more cleared out and there's not as many sims that it won't be it won't be too crazy we have such a big family and i feel bad that we don't see all of them often but throwing those huge parties where everyone comes my game is like you thought and i think it is because of how many mods and how much cc i have so i definitely got to go through it bye everybody bye bye see y'all soon see y'all very soon all right next up we have la 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 bellamy okay all right so it looks like he has the same eyes he had glasses brown dark brown hair okay all right you guys here is um bellamy i really need to go and find like download some new hairs for my children sims because i have a bunch for toddlers and i have a bunch for like teens and ups but when it comes to like uh child hairs for for males i don't really have that many so i'm gonna have to go and download some more i may or may not change his hair later but either way he's such a cutie i don't really see a resemblance to any to stella or charlie at all yet mm, i guess we're just gonna have to wait <laughs> there we go Add a little blush to his face love his necklace love his little glasses <laughs> he has braces as well and I just dressed him very casually because um, he has the rambunctious scab aspiration and he also loves the outdoors, so I can just imagine he likes to play outside a lot. I'm so bummed about today's episode. Nothing went right. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I guess you gotta have one of those every so often. Nothing can be perfect all the time. Okay, Bailey, where are you at? Where are you at? You aged up. Oh, he's on the toilet. Sorry to interrupt, sir. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, okay. You're definitely not identical. Let me pull up your screenshot here. Okay, so black eyes, which you already have. Looks like you aged up with the correct brows as well. Okay, awesome. All right, I gave him his correct skin detail. Now let's pop some lashes on you. Thank you for that follow, whoever that was. <laughs> okay, sweetie, let's find you. Actually, wait, 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 what teeth do you have? Oh. Should we give you braces as well? I think that would be cute. All right. Uh, should we give you the same hair as your brother, but blonde? This kid's going to be a heartbreaker. I can already tell. Oh, I love this shirt too. So he is a uh, whiz kid perfectionist. So we don't have to dress him like he's going to be playing outside all the time. Because, whoa, he's a spellcaster. Oh. <gasps> rad i don't think bellamy was okay okay oh my god look at this jean jacket it's a little crunchy but like oh that is so cute on him okay i really like this outfit it is so freaking cute oh what a little bean what a little bean i gave him a little necklace too they can have matching necklaces because that's cute all right you guys well here's mr bella bailey i'm sorry hope that you like him dang it you guys it's also Rothio's birthday and it's uh zoe's last day of uni okay i'm just gonna keep playing because I really want to see this happen. <laughs> I really do. All right, Zoe, what time is your class? When do you got to go? Nine hours? Oh, I guess that is nine hours away, but it's today. I don't know. That feels feels far. <laughs> okay, so since it's Rodeo's birthday, I'm going to get the, the cake that was up here. And dang it. What? Why does this keep happening? Oh my gosh. I wonder if they can still blow out the candles on a half-eaten cake. I really don't want to freaking cook another one. Oh, you can. 
Oh my gosh, you totally can. Okay. Let me double check her skills first. Okay, so she can max imagination if she wanted to. So I'm going to get her to join playing dolls. Um, in case you guys were wondering, Bailey and Bellamy both max communication, movement, and thinking. I totally forgot to, forgot to mention that. What are you doing? No, don't age her up yet. Okay, come on, love. Let's go play dolls. Let's get that um, imagination skill up and then we will age you up, okay? Oh my gosh, look at cute little... Uh, Cute little Bellamy over there playing games. What? No! Ophelia, why are you why are you not at school? Sixteen thousand dollars in bills, you guys. Sheesh! My game is unfreaking playable right now. Oh my god, I spent the past two sim hours just trying to get Rotheo to go and play. Ugh, go over there. Go. The only thing I need you to do, love, is play dolls just for a little while. Can you please do that for me? Why is she walking like that? Where are you going now? She's like moonwalking. Okay, she did it, I think. Nope, almost there. That was like pulling teeth, you guys. Unbelievable. All right, Zoe, good luck on your final exam. I have no doubt you'll do amazing, but good luck anyway. All right, Rothio, what's up? What's good? There you go. Imagination, movement, and thinking. Okay. Not a single one of these toddlers was potty trained. <laughs> All right, Stella. I'm gonna need you to help little baby take, or er, not grab a serving, no, help blow out candles of this half-eaten cake. Now it's the, oh my God, the candles are just, they're just floating. They're just floating at this point. Elder Stella is breaking my heart, you guys. Sorry, Rotheo. Sorry for your half-eaten cake, my love. <laughs> Chaos. Absolute chaos. What was that? Zoe uh, turned in her homework confidently that, okay, cool, great. Okay, generate another child. Artistic prodigy and cheerful. Oh, obsessed. I love how all three of them got different aspirations and three different uh, traits. Oh my God. What a cute bean. Looking sharp, looking sharp. <laughs> okay, wow. We have five, five children in the house right now. Okay, when do we get to know your grades? When do we get to know them? Hello, what'd you get? Aw, little nap time with Bellamy, how cute! Gotta get a screenshot of this. Oh my god. That is so sweet. Ouch. Ouch, a C and a B plus. So overall, our GPA was a B. I thought we did so good. What the heck happened there? We only had two classes too. Oh gosh, okay, well. It's been quite a journey. Loewy's graduation ceremony from Foxbury Institute is tomorrow. Time to celebrate. Okay. I'm definitely going to wait until the next episode for us to celebrate that. So in the next one, we are going to focus on maxing Stella's career. She just needs to be promoted two more times. We're going to uh, do Zoe's graduation and uh, yeah, give Rotheo her makeover and we're probably going to move, move them out get Stella her scientist job. Um, and then we will give Felix's kids a makeover. I've said that for the last three episodes, I think, but I just keep running out of time and I film for so long and yeah, we just gotta wait till the next one. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for being patient with me and all of my technical difficulties. I do need to go through my mods, so I'm planning on doing that either tomorrow or the next day. 
we'll see how it goes i did put some new cc in today and i put in a new mod and now my game is running like this so i'm thinking it's probably something that i added today so i'll test it out without what i added today and see how it goes i love you guys so so much please let me know what you think about everything in the comments i love you and i'll see you in the next one